so-called godfather of artificial intelligence has quit his post at Google, saying some of the potential dangers of chat. Because remember, the computers are now doing self-improvement. They're learning how to plan. Our authoritarian leaders to um, manipulate their electorates, things like that. What if the machines we built became smarter than us? Former Google CEO Eric Schmidt warns AI could outstrip human intelligence by 2026. Are we ready for what comes next? AI surpassing human intellect isn't sci-fi. It's a 2026 prediction from tech giant Eric Schmidt. In this video, we unpack his urgent warning, the risks, and how humanity can prepare. Eric Schmidt's AI warning. Eric Schmidt, the former Google CEO, raised concerns about AI's rapid evolution. He highlighted that computers are now exhibiting self-improvement and planning capabilities independent of human direction. This shift signals a move towards systems that not only execute tasks, but also learn and strategize autonomously. Schmidt emphasized that the public and policymakers underappreciate the implications of this largely free intelligence. The transformative power of AI lies in its ability to evolve independently potentially outpacing our capacity to comprehend and regulate its actions. He calls for a serious consideration of the societal impact. Computers smarter than all humans in six years. Schmidt predicts the emergence of artificial superintelligence, also known as ASI, surpassing the collective intelligence of humanity within six years. This San Francisco consensus suggests a paradigm shift where computers possess cognitive abilities exceeding human capabilities. Achieving ASI necessitates massive power and infrastructure, including substantial gigawatts and nuclear power plants. The implications of ASI are profound, potentially reshaping every facet of society. He emphasizes the critical need for our society and legal systems to adapt swiftly. He cautions against underestimating the potential impact of AI. The need for massive power and infrastructure for AI. The realization of artificial superintelligence requires a significant investment in power and infrastructure. Schmidt explicitly mentioned the necessity for numerous gigawatts and even nuclear power plants to sustain the energy demands of advanced AI systems. This infrastructural challenge is often overlooked in discussions about AI's future. Without addressing the energy requirements, the full potential of AI cannot be realized. The scale of investment and technological advancements necessary to support ASI underscores the magnitude of the task. The end of programming as we know it? Schmidt stated that A, I will eventually write all code. He is not alone. Dario Amade made similar statements. The transition marks a move from humans as primary coders to implementers, overseeing AI-generated code. Graduate-level mathematicians may be surpassed. He suggests that AI's proficiency in mathematics stems from its ability to optimize word prediction at scales incomprehensible to humans. Programmers may shift to designing outcomes rather than focusing on specific code generation. This revolutionizes programming and changes the skills required. Ch Recursive self-improvement, AI scaling to AGI. Recursive self-improvement is the process where AI systems improve themselves, leading to artificial general intelligence, also known as AGI. AI is generating around 10 to 20% of its own code. AGI can be defined as a system as smart as the smartest mathematician, physicist, artist, writer, thinker, politician. He describes the San Francisco consensus that within three to five years we'll have general intelligence. Wait a second. With AI now planning without human input, are we handing over too much control? What safeguards should be in place to keep AI aligned with human values? Let me your thoughts in the below. Each person will have the equivalent of the smartest human on every problem in our pocket. This transformative change alters how problems are solved and knowledge is accessed. AI agents, automating business, government and academia. AI agents are autonomous systems with input 
output, and memory, designed to learn and execute complex tasks. They can automate business processes, government operations, and academic procedures. Schmidt presented a scenario of purchasing land, designing a house, hiring contractors, and managing payments. The point is that this is every business process, every government process, every academic process. The foundational technology for these agentic solutions is rapidly developing. Job displacement, will automation replace everyone? The rise of automation raises concerns about widespread job displacement. Schmidt mentioned that every time has been pretty much the same, we just find new things to do. AI's capabilities extend beyond code generation, impacting various sectors. The focus may shift towards managing and overseeing AI-driven processes. The question remains whether new roles will emerge quickly enough to offset potential job losses. But the implications of widespread automation require careful consideration. China's AI advancements, the deep seek moment. The deep seek moment signifies China's significant progress in artificial intelligence. It served as a wake up call, prompting increased investment and focus on AI development. Even with chip controls, China has found ways to circumvent restrictions and create new algorithms. China operates in open source. The proliferation of Chinese AI models has become a concern, with the US government exploring measures to manage access. Data center attacks and mutually assured destruction. As AI capabilities become increasingly critical, the possibility of data center attacks emerges. Schmidt discussed a scenario where one country might undermine another's AI capabilities by stealing weights or other actions. He likened it to a situation of mutually assured destruction reminiscent of nuclear deterrent strategies. Kinetic attacks would most likely lead to acts of war. AI and biotechnology automatic drug discovery. Schmidt highlighted the potential of AI in biotechnology, specifically automatic drug discovery. He talked about a startup that's working on a model. This model first learned how to do chemistry, and it's attached to a robotic lab. And what this model does is it generates hypothesis for drugs of one kind or another, and it just generates them. God knows if they're right, and then overnight the robotic lab tests them and gives the report overnight and then it starts again. This intersection of AI and biology could revolutionize how we approach cures and medical treatments. AI and geopolitics, a new era of global competition. The rise of AI is creating a new dimension in geopolitics. Schmidt emphasizes the importance of maintaining a competitive edge in AI, particularly against nations like China. This competition could lead to international tensions, including attempts to undermine AI infrastructure or steal intellectual property. He also highlights the necessity for the US to take seriously and compete in the arena. He describes an idea to include something of a treaty where each of us puts dynamite on each other's electricity supply to maintain balance in the area. A major area of discussion must be the debate in our nation about what to do about Iran's nuclear program. The future Eric Schmidt describes is rapidly approaching. Are we ready for AI that surpasses human intelligence? Let me know your thoughts below. The time to understand and prepare is now. Thanks for watching.